Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. What lies beyond the boundaries of the observable universe? Could there be a vast multiverse with our universe being just one among many? These questions have captivated not only scientists, but also filmmakers, as seen in movies like Everything Everywhere All at Once and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. While the idea of a multiverse has long been present in human imagination, it gained traction with modern scientific theories attempting to explain the nature of our universe, suggesting the existence of other universes beyond our own. And recently, scientists have uncovered intriguing evidence that supports the notion of a universe preceding ours. They propose that our universe is part of a continuous sequence of universes that have existed throughout time. Renowned physicist and philosopher Sir Roger Penrose argues that our universe emerged from the remnants of black holes and the remnants of the previous universe. In this video, we delve into this mind-bending concept, explore Penrose's insights and examine how the James Webb Telescope contributes to the validation of these claims. Scientists use the term multiverse to describe the possibility of other universes existing beyond our observable universe. Various scientific theories propose the existence of multiverses, which can range from separate bubble universes to regions of space in different dimensions than our own. These theories all suggest that our observable reality is not the only one. However, renowned theoretical physicist and Nobel laureate Sir Roger Penrose has put forth a groundbreaking theory that challenges conventional wisdom. According to Penrose, our universe did not originate from nothingness, but instead emerged from a previous universe. With his contributions to the general theory of relativity and cosmology, Penrose is highly respected in the scientific community and has received prestigious awards for his work, including the Wolf Prize in Physics and half of the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics for his research on black hole formation. Penrose's theory introduces the conformal cyclic cosmology model, which diverges from the commonly accepted multidimensional theories. It suggests that the universe exists in cycles rather than multiple dimensions. Supporting his theory, Penrose's examination of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, has revealed the presence of concentric circles. By studying the CMB in both its past and present forms, he proposes the existence of a prior universe before the Big Bang. According to Penrose, the singularity responsible for the Big Bang is equivalent to the infinitely expanding pre-existing universe. His theory originated from studying the cosmic microwave background, which is the earliest electromagnetic radiation present in the early stages of the universe. This relic radiation provides valuable data about the thermal radioactive state of the early universe and dates back to around 375,000 years after the Big Bang. While this time frame may seem short in the context of the observable universe, it holds significance for understanding the early universe. Radio telescopes enable scientists to observe the faint glow of the cosmic microwave background, which fills the space between stars and galaxies. Penrose's exploration of the CMB has provided crucial data about the early universe, capturing a snapshot of a time when temperatures had cooled enough for protons and electrons to combine into hydrogen atoms. In collaboration with three co-authors, Penrose conducted an analysis of the cosmic microwave background CMB data, which led to the discovery of intriguing anomalies that have significant implications for cosmology. These peculiar points sparked the hypothesis that they could be remnants of supermassive black holes from a previous universe that have undergone evaporation. The team attributed these anomalies to black holes because of their extraordinary capacity to generate and sustain an immense amount of energy, comparable to the force unleashed during the Big Bang. To support his hypothesis, Penrose delved into the practical implications of the second law of thermodynamics and its connection to the ultimate destiny of the universe. While much of his viewpoint aligns with prevailing theories in theoretical physics, Penrose differs from Stephen Hawking's assertion that information is destroyed once it enters a black hole. Interestingly, Penrose is not alone in challenging the notion of black holes as cosmic vacuums that completely consume energy. 
Instead, he suggests that black holes transform energy into photons that persist beyond the confines of space and time, extending beyond the event horizon. According to Penrose, these photons existing beyond the boundaries of space and time could serve as the fundamental building blocks of subsequent universes, ultimately leading to the occurrence of the Big Bang. Furthermore, Penrose proposes that over an unimaginably vast span of time, possibly spanning trillions of years, all matter within the observable universe gradually disintegrates into photon energy within an expansive and extremely cold expanse. He terms this duration from the initial Big Bang to the infinite expansion of the universe as an eon. Our Big Bang was a squashed down infinity of a previous eon. So I'm saying that our eon began with the Big Bang, ended up with this exponential expansion. There was another one before us, there will be another one after us, there was another one before that, and so on. So it's an infinite cycle of Big Bangs. That's the picture and constant expansion to the point where there's no more energy and then somehow another Big Bang comes out of that. The previous eons endless expansion and eventual dissolution provided the foundation for the explosive initiation of the subsequent eon cycle. During the crucial transition between eons, space and time lose their conventional significance, making the birth of the new eon seem inconsequential from the perspective of its inhabitants. Penrose argues that the enigmatic singularity assumed to have occurred during the Big Bang is not as mysterious as previously thought. He claims to have identified similar singularities that potentially exist at the event horizon of black holes. Through his analysis, Penrose associates the circular patterns observed in the cosmic microwave background with highly redshifted photons originating from black holes in the prior universe permeating into our current existence. While these circular patterns may appear insignificant to the untrained eye, they contain low-energy remnants from a previous universe in the eyes of a physicist. According to Penrose's proposal, the cosmic energy absorbed by black holes in the previous universe become intertwined with the future Big Bang of the subsequent eon. After an unimaginable period of cosmic expansion, Penrose's theory challenges the prevailing concept of the Big Crunch and instead suggests that the universe will expand indefinitely. This contradicts the notion that gravity would eventually slow down the expansion, leading to a collapse known as the Big Crunch. According to the Big Crunch theory, this collapse would trigger the birth of a new universe through a powerful explosion. Recently, the James Webb Telescope has made significant discoveries that challenge the Big Bang theory. While these findings don't directly support Sir Roger Penrose's ideas, they suggest that the Big Bang was not the ultimate origin of the universe. It appears that the new universe we know today may have emerged from the Big Bang, but it was not the true beginning. One notable discovery by the James Webb Telescope is the detection of what could potentially be the oldest black hole known in the universe. This immense cosmic entity resides at the centre of a young galaxy and possesses a mass roughly 10 million times that of the Sun. The presence of this colossal black hole raises intriguing questions about the existence of numerous black holes during the cosmic dawn, a period that started around 100 million years after the Big Bang and lasted for approximately 1 billion years. Scientists are currently grappling with the mystery of how and why these black holes formed and grew to such enormous sizes. The recent findings, published on the preprint server ArcSiv by a team of researchers led by Rebecca Larson from the University of Texas at Austin, provide insights into this ancient black hole. However, the findings have yet to undergo peer review. Larson emphasizes that while this black hole is the first of its kind observed at this specific point in time after the Big Bang, it is highly likely that many more existed during earlier stages of the universe. As scientists delve deeper into the universe, they are also delving further into its past, thanks to the constant speed of light in the vacuum of space. To identify the black hole, astronomers utilized two infrared cameras on the James Webb Space Telescope, the mid-infrared instrument and the near-infrared camera. By analyzing the captured light using spectrographs, they noticed an unexpected spike among the frequencies. This spike indicates that the hot matter surrounding the black hole emits faint traces of radiation, which propagates throughout the universe. The rapid emergence of black holes in the early universe remains a mystery. 
astronomers are actively searching for younger primordial black holes, which are hypothesized to have formed shortly after or even before the Big Bang. However, these primordial black holes have proven elusive thus far. The discovery of the oldest black hole in the universe and the possibility of many more during the cosmic dawn presents a fascinating narrative about the origins of our universe. A thought-provoking theory suggests that we might be living inside a black hole, an idea that draws upon the mysterious nature of these cosmic entities and our understanding of the universe. Exploring this theory can provide insights into black holes, the structure of the universe, and the fundamental questions that intrigue scientists and philosophers. Black holes contain a singularity, a point of infinite density at their core. It is speculated that this singularity could serve as a gateway to another universe or region of space-time. If this hypothesis holds true, it raises the intriguing possibility that our entire universe could be situated within the singularity of a larger black hole. This concept gains further support when considering the nature of black holes in the context of the expanding universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, our universe originated from a singularity and rapidly expanded. The black hole hypothesis suggests that our expanding universe is akin to the interior of a black hole, continually stretching as it expands away from the singularity that gave birth to it. Advocates of this theory argued that it could potentially explain certain puzzling aspects of our cosmological observations, such as the phenomenon of dark energy driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. By viewing the universe as contained within a black hole, the effects of dark energy could be attributed to the gravitational influence of the larger black hole. While this theory is intriguing, it is important to approach it with caution. It is still a speculative idea that requires further exploration and evidence. The nature of our universe and its origins continue to be the subjects of scientific inquiry and debate. Whether we reside within a black hole or if there are other universes beyond remains a topic of ongoing exploration and discussion. What are your thoughts? Do you believe we live inside a black hole or do you think there are other universes out there? Share your views in the comments below.